September was all about the bigger picture, so I made sure that all of my bulky items like duvets, curtains, rugs, and air filters were all washed and deep cleaned, and my baking staples and canned items were restocked. As we are approaching the end of October, we're starting to focus more on the details. So in today's video, I'm sharing those things that I do every October to get into the holidays months a bit more organized. Consider subscribing as in the next video I'll be talking on how I save money during this time of the year. Getting organized will help you stay more focused on the present moment. And this is what is truly important to me. Not the consumerism aspect of the holidays, but being able to enjoy the coziness we worked on to bring it into our own spaces during these weeks. The work towards creating memories through festive foods, handmade decorations, nature's walks, and being a blessing to our neighbors. So the first thing I decided to put on this list is bringing order to our daily companion, our car, which especially starting from this time of the year, it'd be very important to keep up with and keep clean because it will ultimately help reduce the clutter we bring into our homes. It also makes it the perfect starting spot if you're planning on decluttering, getting everything out of it, getting rid of the trash, Vacuuming it and organizing it with few essentials will help you feel accomplished and flex the decluttering muscles so that you can tackle the next odd spot in your home. Same for your purse. Just dedicating a few minutes to emptying it and cleaning it can result in a clearer mind as we adventure out for the day, for the shopping, the gatherings or festive activities. Number two is making use of your planner, your calendar. Whether you prefer it having it digital or paper like me, make sure you start jotting down those fixed dates or activities or vacations, anything you have planned and you need to keep focus on. Take also a mental note on what you have planned last year and on how much you can actually cut down this year. I personally want my calendar to look as empty as possible from appointments so that I can enjoy a stress-free holidays. I like to plan home-centered activities like pyjama parties with the kids, movie nights, baking off with friends and family, and a little staycation to enjoy some window shopping and Christmas markets and good food. Also, if you're planning on making homemade gifts, for example, this is the time to create a deadline for your projects so that it's easy to break down your to-dos into daily tasks. I'm not getting into budgeting and stuff in this video as I'll be getting into depth into my next one. Next thing I like to do during these few weeks is going in on Pinterest, using these weeks to master an easy to put together festive look and makeup. Whatever is your taste, I personally lean on a casual elegant style because as a mom to six kids, I feel like I need to be comfortable all the time to do things with them and at their pace. But I still like to wear something that looks like I put an effort into, so I opt for monochrome outfits. They're easy to mix and match, and just by paying attention, like something as simple as curated eyebrows and nails, putting my hair in a low bun will go a long way to make your overall look feel polished and sophisticated with very little effort. Last thing on my uh, to-do list for this month is deep cleaning my refrigerator and freezer. Now this is the time to go through all the waste that we have in our refrigerators. If there's any spillage, give it a good deep cleaning, get the drawers out, wash them. You wanna defrost your freezer. You wanna make room for all the good batch cooking and batch baking and all the goodies that we're gonna be receiving from family and friends.